John, John, may we fate take if he pass, son of Laius, husband and son to Jocasta. That is I. Oedipus at Goenu, a new play by Standard Bank Young Artist Theatre winner Greg Homan, debuted at the opening of the 2014 National Arts Festival. QTube sat down with Greg Homan to get a sense of the creative process that leads to such a work. One of the things that happens, I think, when you win the Standard Bank Young Artist Award is you spend a lot of time thinking about what you're going to do and you become quite introspective, at least I did. So I started to, to make connections between other work that I've done and I started to realize that one of the things that has kind of become something that I'm interested in is the work referring to itself, the kind of meta-textual reference. Who are you and why are you here? We're a dramatic device to signify the long-standing conflict in this place. <laughs> Oedipus immediately has a, a text around him as a character. So when Oedipus arrives on stage, already there is a, a weight and a whole history that comes with that character. So sometimes borrowing another text allows you to start the play um, with a particular knowledge base already intact. What is more than losing your country? Losing your purpose. Veteran actor David Dennis spoke to the importance of Oedipus in the South African context. It's a very complex role. Oedipus represents so much. It's not just the story of Oedipus. I think its importance is going to lie with how young audiences see this play. His vision does include this being something uh, of a conversation piece for young people in this country and what their response to the future of the country is and where they shape, how they shape the democracy they want. The piece, a self-aware take on the classic Oedipus a colonist, revitalizes the tale by introducing elements of modern-day South Africa. I think uh, he's a hero, he's a perpetrator, he's a victim. I think he's an exile, I think he's a refugee. Um, I think he's a fated leader, um, he's a flawed leader. I think he's a father and he doesn't want his sins or his burdens to be carried in his children. This prophecy hangs over him that wherever he's buried that land will be forever blessed. Um, and around him are politicians and his family fighting over how they're going to maximize on his burial and on his death. It, it was such a nice and fitting tribute, I think, in many ways, as well as a very fitting critique of our current political landscape. And the important thing about working with tragedy is, is knowing that what, in order to achieve that great drama, one has to uh, embrace the comedy and the lightness of touch. In the work, I've tried to be both critical of where we're at as a country, but also the play is in some way a celebration of what we have achieved as well. And I've tried to keep the play um, and the production incredibly playful. It deals with serious, heavy themes, but I want it to be a, a, a playful, enjoyable, entertaining experience for the audience.